Hi, I'm Donna Rodenizer. I'm the composer of this piece of music called The Love of the Sea. Some people ask, when you write music, what comes first, the music or the words? And for me, it actually depends on the piece of music that I'm writing. This piece of music, the music came first. I'm an elementary school music teacher and very uncharacteristically, a class had left the music room and the next class was not waiting at the door. And uh, I had a few minutes so I sat down at the piano and I played this phrase. And I thought, oh, I like that. Um, so I got a piece of paper and wrote it down because if you don't write it down, you won't remember. So I wrote down. I thought, where does that kind of go and what does that represent in text? And so I thought, well, maybe the love of the sea. So I wrote that much down. The love of the sea. So then I had to think about what about the love of the sea? Why am I talking about this and, and what do I feel about it? And so the next line and the music came together. And then back to that beautiful octave jump. So the words came, the love of the sea, it holds like no other. And then I started thinking about the things that make the ocean uh, special to me. I live in an, an ocean province and uh, so the, there's the roll of the waves and the tangy salt air and there's storms and she's gentle and she's constantly changing and that all, all became the text. And uh, there are many, many other things that I thought of about the ocean but those words are in a drawer somewhere and didn't get put in the song. The chorus of this song, it just wasn't time to do the chorus yet after that first statement of the verse and so it, it became a double verse but I didn't want to do it exactly the same so there are some slight changes in the melody. Um, but it continues to talk about uh, not being able to hold the ocean, but she's very soothing and people who love the ocean and sort of give themselves to the ocean as sailors or people who just love the ocean, that love is different than mortal love and so that's sort of in the text of that part. The chorus uh, is, she has my love till death us do part, she has all of my soul and all of my heart, I'm not complete unless I am near her, my soulmate my master, my true love, the sea. And uh, I have sung this and performed this piece in a, in a trio as well as in a duo. And when we do this piece of music, um, I really prefer when you get to, and all of my heart, I'm not complete, and then breathe there. It's not at the end of a phrase, and uh, the, that phrasing is actually written in the music. I know of a very good friend of mine who's a conductor who says, Donna, I'm not conducting it that way. I am going to get my choristers to breathe in a different place. And that's entirely up to uh, you as a director, but that is my preference. So the chorus goes like this. text and in, in the vocal line, my soulmate, my master, my true love, the sea. Not a, not a full break, but just a, a little lift there to separate those. Back um, into and uh, a beautiful section talking about the colors of the ocean, the, the sapphire of noon and the red glow of the sun and the twilight's deep blue. And uh, the second half of the double uh, verse talks about returning to the sea um, in death and so that the waves will be the arms that enfold you and that you are with the ocean then at the end of your life. And uh, there's a double chorus at the end. There are two options. You can do a, a, an a cappella final chorus or I've heard this where when you come out of the first chorus and into the second one there's a crescendo and then it's just a beautiful full uh, four part or in, in the SSA three part harmony to finish out your uh, chorus. So that is The Love of the Sea. This piece of music um, I'm very very pleased to have had it sung in many countries around the world. It was taken to Austria, it's been across Canada, and into the United States and, and in, in uh, many areas and I, I hear back from people often saying oh this is 
my favorite piece of music to sing in the choir. And it's always lovely to hear uh, news back from people who are enjoying performing a piece of music that I have composed. We have a sample of this song on our website being performed by the Annapolis Valley Honor Choir uh, at a reunion concert that they invited all the alumni back and uh, it was one of their favorite songs to sing and that's the one they, they asked specifically to sing as a reunion choir. So have a, have a listen, check that out and uh, enjoy the love of the sea.